John here with Moto C. Uh, we are uh, making progress on the 1983 Yamaha XJ900. The forks are being rebuilt. Well, the forks are out being rebuilt. Time to work on getting the front uh, wheel brightened up and repainted. You've noticed that I've stuck a uh, paper towel in the uh, bearing area here. The reason I've done that is so no foreign material gets in there while we're doing the cleanup. The other thing you've noticed that this uh, motorcycle tire is actually sitting on uh, a car tire. The reason being is we're going to take this impact uh, tool and we're going to start removing the bolts that hold the rotor in place. So we want a nice soft impact area. If we were to have this on even this wood deck of mine, it, it might do damage. So we want to have this so uh, it doesn't do that. Now the one thing I've tried removing these bolts, which are 6 millimeter uh, Allen head bolts with a T-handle. And the problem is, uh, these have like a Loctite uh, from the factory to hold these bolts that hold the rotor in place. Really hard to remove. This won't cut it. You'll tear up the Allen heads. And you don't want to do that. Uh, you can't get these bolts anymore from Yamaha. You want to do everything you can to save these bolts. So I went to Harbor Freight and I got this attachment for my impact hammer, 6 millimeter, and I'll show you the best way to do this. That's a stubborn one. I'll keep working on that. But just so you know, these other ones I've already gotten removed. Not removed, but loosened up. I'll keep working on this one. I'll just be patient and keep uh, working away at it. But what I don't want to do again is to tear those up. And then I'm going to get them so far uh, backed off that then I'm going to take my 6 millimeter T wrench and I'll back them off, unscrew them all the way. But while they're right there and I have a place that's pretty good to, so to say, hold them, I'm going to take my Dremel tool and hope the camera picks this up. This is a brass wire brush and I will work around these very carefully here and I will brighten them up. And I'm also going to use that on the aluminum on the wheel. And one of the things that I can do is take this flitz cleaner. I'll apply a little dab here and then I'll take my Dremel tool with my uh, brush and just run it over here. I want to do all this type of work uh, before I wash and then I eventually I'm going to use uh, steel wool. So I'll wash the wheel after all this work is done. I'll steel wool all the black areas here and uh, then it'll be ready for paint and then all the bright areas here, the bright aluminum work. I'm going to mask that off and uh, then I can paint it. Do that on both sides. And this one wheel will probably take me oh, about five or six hours of work to do that. So I'll keep banging away on this wheel here, get these bolts out, and then this center part here is black and it's got some light rust. We'll get the rust removed and we'll get that brightened up. And the rotors are in really good shape. So we're just doing some cleanup brightening up work of this front wheel and then when the forks come back from rebuild we'll put it all back together. Hey, thanks for joining us on Moto C. I just wanted to show you kind of a before and after so you can see these bolts. They're a little rusty. And if you can see this area right here, I've actually worked on this area if you can see it compared to here, see where we have some light corrosion. And here I've just used my uh, brass wire brush and some of that flitz uh, polish. And you can see the difference. So now I'm going to work on these bolts and I'll show you what that looks like.
starting to compare it to this one. Starting to shine up pretty good. And then to get down in the middle of it, I have another little brass brush that I can get down in the inside. I'll take some of that flitz and I'll put on here and I'll just keep working that bolt and we'll get it shined up nice and bright. Now true restorers, what they'd probably do is they'd probably take those bolts and send them out and have them replated. Uh, but for the purpose of doing this, I think I can brighten them up without having the expense of having them replated. Anyway, another little tip there. Thanks. Bye.